I move to strike the last word. Gentlelady is recognized for five minutes. Mr. Chairman, I stand in strong opposition to this bill from Congressman Huizinga, which seeks to repeal Section 953B of Dodd-Frank. This section of Dodd-Frank, authored by Senator Menendez, requires publicly listed companies to disclose in their SEC filings um, A, C, O pay, B, medium worker pay, and C, the ratio of the two. My Republican colleagues like to say that uh, their bill is a uh, their bill is about burdensome reporting, and the fact that Section 953B of Dodd-Frank as written may pose some implementation challenges, and some of their concerns may be legitimate. But my colleagues aren't interested in improving this section to make it easier to implement. Instead, they're proposing an outright repeal that demonstrates that their true goal is to keep this pay ratio information a secret. Mr. Chairman, we have seen a concerted attack on the middle class through the policy of sequestration which is cutting Meals on Wheels, Head Start, community health centers, and housing for seniors and the disabled. Now it appears that some of my colleagues not only want to place the burden of balancing the budget on the backs of the middle class, they want to do so while keeping the ratio of average Americans' pay to CEO pay a secret. H.R. 1135 doesn't seek to improve the underlying section of Dodd-Frank. It doesn't offer constructive ideas on how to streamline reporting, and it is not thoughtful legislation. Its fundamental purpose is to continue business as usual and hope to hide the fact that CEO pay is exploding while middle class wages stagnate. Just consider the numbers. In 1965, CEOs made 24 times the average worker. In 1982, it was 54 to 1. In 2012, CEOs made 354 times the amount of the average worker. In my view, this fact is, fact is distressing, and it bodes poorly for the future of the middle class when all workers don't have the opportunity to share in the productivity gains of the companies for which they labor. Some CEOs will say that despite their exploding salaries, their companies can't afford this burdensome reporting. Let's remember that these are the same companies that have no problem hiring lobbyists and providing lots of data when they're responding to SEC or CFTC proposed regulations. We saw that during the fight on Dodd-Frank, and in particular on the debate over allowing shareholders a proxy vote on nominees to corporate uh, boards of directors, but when it comes to reporting on CEO pay, suddenly the cost of providing data to the SEC are just astronomical, and no one can possibly think of workable alternatives. Again, if my colleagues want to improve Section 953B, I'm open to working with them. There are many reasonable ideas that people on both sides of the aisle would be willing to consider, but I will not entertain an outright repeal because that approach is not serious and is not about burdensome reporting, but allowing some companies to continue to keep embarrassing information secret. I thank you, and I yield back the balance of my time. Dinner lady yells back.